is if you follow me or TLC on Instagram, you see me talking about mindset all the time. And today I wanna give you a tip to mastering your mind. I talk about this all the time with my clients and your awareness of your mind and what is going through your mind is the number one thing. So quick tip on how to be more aware of your thought process in that automatic video and, and real and just whatever that's going through your mind. We have to stop the automatic conditioning. What you are thinking about being a complete failure and not good enough and not pretty enough and not smart enough, it is not true. These are your automatic thoughts that are going through your mind and now the first step to changing that and rewiring your brain is your awareness. So I'm gonna give you my top tip and I'm gonna break this down really slow. Top tip to mastering your awareness of your mind is your biggest signal is your emotions. So you need to know when you are feeling any negative emotion, like you're feeling insecure or not good enough, it means that you have just told yourself something about yourself that is not true. If you can catch yourself feeling negative emotions, great. That is your first step to changing it, is acknowledging when you feel those negative emotions and asking yourself, huh, that's interesting. How am I feeling right now? Hmm, feeling like shit, great. What did I just tell myself? And you can start to keep track of what you, how are you feeling and what are you telling yourself? The thing is, so often we do not realize when we are feeling crappy. If you do not know when you are feeling crappy, my biggest tip is using your phone. I want you to set an alarm on your phone for every hour, every two hours for the first few days or the first week. And every time that alarm goes off, I want you to ask yourself, huh, how am I feeling right now? If you're feeling good, great. If you're not feeling so good, that's okay. I want you to ask yourself, what was I just saying to myself? That's funny, like what am I thinking right now? Your emotions are your biggest signal that something is going on in your mind and in your brain that you are not aware of. Awareness is your top, top point to mastering your mind. So I'm gonna come on weekly, give different tips. I am so passionate about millionaire mindset, business, relationships, and I'm gonna continue to share with you tips that I share with my clients that are coming up and or that I'm dealing with in my life. This is something I did. Years ago, I wanna say hmm, seven years ago, I decided to enter into the mental Olympics master my mind, train my mind so that I was no longer living in my limiting beliefs and my conditioning of what I believed for myself. I too have thoughts that I am not good enough, that I am a failure, that nobody likes me, that I'm not smart enough, that I make mistakes, like these are normal. But the difference is, are you gonna let these beliefs that you have hold you back into 2020? And I do not want that for you because you have so much to give and so much to offer this world. So I'm gonna continue to come in and give you tips to master that so you can be and step into your best self because you are made to be like amazing. You are amazing, you are amazing. So don't let all that shit in your mind hold you back. So the first step is be aware of your emotions. So like I was saying, this this was me over seven years ago. And when I set my alarm on my phone, I did not realize how often I was feeling shitty. Honestly, like every time that alarm went off, I was like, oh, I feel like, I feel like shit. I feel awful again. And I couldn't believe it because I knew, like I read all the books, like even right now, Super Tractor, Gabby Bernstein. Um, so I was reading all these like self-development books and mindset books, but I wasn't actually, there was like a disconnect. I didn't know how to rewire my brain and I wasn't actually aware of what was going on in my mind. So let's commit to entering the mental Olympics, mastering our minds and not living victim to our conditioning society and like all those things that are going through our mind because we are way better than that and you have a lot more amazing things to do in this world. 
Uh, don't let it stop you. And thank you for being here. Can't wait to continue chatting. Comment below. Let me know if this tip helps you and or just give me some tips also of what you do to master your mind and to really continue to rewire your brain. Love you so much. Have a great day. Happy holidays.